Welcome back to my YouTube channel, everyone. Hi, I am CJ Perry, also known as the Ravishing Russian Lana. Welcome back. Thank you guys for coming. Please subscribe. Notification bell, ding, 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 ding. Okay, so there has been a lot of questions in the comment of, am I married to Bobby Lashley? No, she's not married to Bobby Lashley. 100% married. But also up. clearly, CJ is the most beautiful woman I've ever met in my life. And clearly, you should go follow me on my YouTube channel since it's all about mine and yours. Yes, link is below. You can follow mm -hmm. him. When you guys watch all those other videos and you're confused, it's just because character stuff. This is my real life husband, Miroslav. Also have Twitch channel. Twitch, ding, ding, ding. Please follow him on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok. Okay, so back to what I was saying. Is that an earthquake? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so today's video is gonna actually be, we're gonna take you back a year. This is actually the very first YouTube video that we shot, you and I. Yes. We decided on a whim, the house hunt, and yeah, we're gonna take you back and we're gonna show you how we decided to buy this house. Um, I think I lived in a hotel for about a month while uh, house hunting. Why did you want to buy a house in LA? I wanted to move to LA for like seven years. I used to live in LA. You know, it's LA. We both lived out here and she loved it. And when we first had the opportunity to move away from Orlando to live whatever we want, uh, CJ wanted to live in LA. I absolutely said no. Just because back in the day living here, it just le uh, left a lot of like sour taste. You know, hustling three or four jobs at a time, working pay my dues, um, it was just too much. And I still had that mentality, like, man, no, LA, like, no. You know, we were doing WWE and everything was good, but I, I always wanted to, you know, start uh, doing some acting stuff. And I wanted to attend acting school, and CJ's done that before. And she's been talking to me to go in acting school, and we met, Leslie Kahn, Leslie Kahn, Leslie Kahn. Like, I feel like I knew Leslie Kahn before I even met her. One summer I decided this is it, we're leaving tomorrow. And this is exactly what happened. We caught a plane the next day and we flew to LA and started looking for houses. Um, yeah, you stayed in Extended Inn for a month. I, it was, that was insane. That was literally yeah. insane. Because I, I was in, the, uh, I was in right across the street, there was a, a Cordial Marriott. But one night there was $60 and the next day it was $250. So I'm like, absolutely, I'm not gonna pay $250 a night to stay in the Marriott. Right across the street, Extended Inn, uh, got in there with me, Joy, and my Xbox One. And so he was like, let's buy a house. And I'm like, oh my God, let's buy a house. And so literally we went back to Nashville and that week sat on our couches and Googled and Zillowed and realtor every single house here. Um, found a realtor out here, came back a week later and looked at, it was 14 houses we looked at? Here you go. This was our first day, boomsies. The first house that we saw. This is our first time ever to be house hunting. Yes, because last time we bought the first house, we saw online. Online from <laughs> basically, was our it? Our natural home. Basically bought the house from FaceTiming. Yeah. Yeah. But it was a great decision because it was the best house. It was the best house ever. And now we're on the hunt for our LA home because we're moving to LA. So this house is in the hills. The location was key, okay? It's literally as Studio City. Yeah, exactly. You could see the balcony to where you see the view is literally like all of Universal. You see Harry Potter's castle. It's so beautiful. And then you can go down on either way. You could either go into Studio City or Hollywood. You but checked one of my marks. What was yours? My mark was always I wanted to have a front gate yes. so I can drive through my car with my car then close the gate up the driveway and park in front of the house. That's what I always wanted to. Yes. It was one of my biggest desires that I wanted in the house. It just feels good, man. You just open your own gate and you drive in, you close in. It's like, yeah, man, this is my fortress type of deal. He really, really wants, like his dream is to have like, literally like the gates and the long, like tr long driveway up to the house with like trees. Yeah. It was a little over our budget. We set a budget and it was a little over our budget. You didn't start over a budget. It started at our budget and all of a sudden the house went $500,000 over budget. The one thing about this house is the model, the house was old, okay? As you see in the videos, the house is just like, I don't know, it was it was old. It was, the model was old. Another mistake we made in Nashville is older. Like the house is like not, we had to do a lot of like upgrades and remodels, right? 
So we were trying to find something. Renovations is both. Yeah, renovations. So we were trying to find with the LA house something that was more modern, something more updated, something like brighter, more open, and that we didn't have to put as much money into the renovations, right? We went to this big, really big house in North Hollywood. It had, it was really open, it was beautiful. In the back, it had a guest house. It was really great. We thought about possibly renting it. So this house was like the biggest house in the whole North Hollywood neighborhood. And it was a really big house. We remember thinking, cause our house in Nashville is one of the nicer like ones in the neighborhood. And we're like- uh, The price was right, it just, the whole house stuck out like a store thumb in the neighborhood. Oh yeah. Because you have these one level houses and then you see this two level Italian villa with the Italian villa color like this. I mean, you see the color, I don't even know what color is it. Yeah. And it was just too much. So there's a lot of different houses that we looked at that were great. Um, there's always some type of reasoning of like, maybe it was too cluttered or to the rooms or, but one house Miro really, really, really light. And again, we did not want to do that mistake as the first year. The first year we settled and we wanted to take our time and I didn't care if I live in a hotel. We, we were going to find, I had the feeling, man, I had the feeling that we we're going to find the perfect house. And through prayers, you, you see when we get there in a second, you see that what we got, it was the perfect house. The, the house that we found, uh, this particular house, was really, really good. Brand new house, renovated uh, garage, it was open space, everything was just beautiful. A little bit Amazing. further in the valley, so that means a little bit further from everything. Right, but the price was really, really good. It was way under budget what we were looking for. Yeah, but the problem for CJ was there was no pool. First of all, Living in the valley of California, Los Angeles, in the summer at 110 degrees with no pool it's not 100. is not going to happen. Now, last day, and we went, last day was when we saw our house. It was maybe a little bit over budget. So, it was actually over budget. It was exactly the same price as the first house. Listen, the one thing I've learned about buying stuff is... I never stick to budget, and it's very unfortunate. But I was gonna make my wife happy, of course. I and tried. The pro you know, CJ loves to live in the hills. Oh my gosh, we're gonna be a hill person. You know, we're in, in it, bro. We're in LA, we're gonna live in the hills. Obviously, for the IGs, for good Instagram pictures, I know you guys know. Like, girls, don't we need to make sure that our backdrop for Instagram is good? Buy a green screen. Go in comments, say in comments right now, if you think for Instagram, your backdrop matters. I was not demanding. I just said that if I live in the valley when there's no view, I would like to have a pool. If I live in the hills, I will sacrifice the pool because I can have a view. Oh yeah, there was no pool there either. Plus 25 degrees, not as hot on in the hills. So that's, that's the living room. It's a great house. <laughs> I like the house right away. I saw the house, I liked it, I loved it. So this house that we have is a little bit, it's actually with no traffic during global pandemic. <laughs> it's only like 10 minutes from Hollywood. We basically were like, both were exactly the same price, which were both houses were $100,000 over budget. So we were like, what should we do? What should we do? I was really having a hard time being, I was being indecisive. But at the same time, you wanted the other one, so we said fine. So we put an offer in the first house. So we said a prayer. Him and I were like, let's just pray. Let's just pray. We said a prayer. We were just like, God, let us like know for sure 100% what we should do. So we made an offer on the house that we got for $150,000 less. We were like, let's just, to the house that we have, let's just throw it $150,000 less. And we made- Expecting that they will counter and they will counter again. They will come to the price that we, we thought we're gonna be comfortable with. Yes. So they came back, drum roll, drum roll, what happened? They took the offer! Yeah, we knew right away. Yes. There was no debate, because once again, we had the other, uh, quite a few options. Eek! It's a no brainer. Like once again, it's like these uh, panel doors that are open, you have the pool, the, the hot tub, and the open space, and you have the, the skylights, which is something that I always wanted to have. We literally had to be in, uh, extended stay for a month yeah and the house is so beautiful we'll show you a tour a detailed tour of the entire house now we have um, to kick him out because <laughs> i'm like bro i live in a hotel get out of the way <laughs> yeah. 
it's not fully complete we got an interior designer we made a lot of um we did some updates but it's not the house is not finished so we will do another video when it's completely finished so please subscribe to to my channel subscribe to his channel link is down there make sure you follow us on our social platforms social platforms anyways super excited thank you guys for watching this video love you guys please let us know what you want to see more of in comments i do read the comments and i do listen head over to his channel right now for another collaboration that we're doing boom ha ah!